In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Spring application with a Vadin front end using Maven and Spring Boot. And one of the easiest uh, ways of creating a new Spring application is by using the tool at start.spring.io, which is called Spring Initializer. And uh, you can configure here uh, a Maven project or a Gradle project. I'm using Maven. You can configure also the name of your uh, project here and you can add dependencies and Vadin is available here so once you have Vadin here uh, if you need to add anything else go ahead but uh, in this demo I'm just showing uh, how to create a Vadin, simple Vadin UI uh, well just click the generate button and you should get this file which is actually uh, Maven project, as you can see. So you can import that into any IDE I'm using uh, IntelliJ IDEA in this video, but you can use Eclipse or NetBeans as well. And you should get this very simple application, uh, which uh, contains only one class with a standard main method that you can run to to well to execute the, the the application and this is going to be a web application so this will start uh, a Tomcat but you don't need to configure anything of that that's the cool thing about Spring Boot uh, so let's create a new um, Vadin UI that's also very simple to do all you have to do is well annotate this with Spring UI and maybe you would like to use the value theme of course you need to extend UI and uh, implement the init method and I'm going to quickly implement a simple UI here and what we want to do is uh, to invoke uh, like a business uh, logic implemented in a separate uh, class or in a bin. So let's create that class here, service for example, and this can be a, a spring bin. So I'm going to use the at component annotation and let's implement uh, a method such as say hello accepting a name and just return hello and a name so now we can inject that uh, service bin here by using the out to wired annotation you can use also setter injection or constructor injection which is the one that I actually prefer but this is enough for this demo so let's uh, call the service uh, to show a notification when this button is clicked for example notification that show and this accepts a string that's going to be defined by this method name that get value and that's it so let's run this application uh, you can either compile and, and, and build the, the jar file and execute this main method or you can also use maven to uh, run the application like this uh, spring boot run and now we can uh, go to the browser localhost 8080 And there you go, the application is working.